Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn October 13, 2022. Your responsibilities feel more natural to meet today, and you tend to embrace a realistic perspective since it allows you to make better plans. Focusing on getting your practical priorities straight can be highly rewarding. Activities that involve organizing and tidying are in higher favor with today's Sun-Saturn aspect. While the day's energies favor patience, practicality, and reliability, today is unlikely to be boring. You may get a smarter perspective on money in work matters, or health concerns seem a little clearer. Plans with modest goals are more likely to fare better with this active transit. You're inclined to choose a task and focus on it step by step in logical order today, which goes a long way toward grounding you. A big boost is arriving for you. With the Sun and Saturn linking in a perfect heavenly dance, you will find the strength and practicality to manifest your goals and plans with a significant other. Use this energy to discuss what the two of you want to work as a team upon, especially in regards to your finances, and you could see that the strategies you build now end up leading you to long-term success and fortune. Another way this could benefit you is if the two of you want to begin working toward newfound fitness, diet, or health goals, as well. Do you feel valued? Changes in your work life are coming together slowly yet surely, especially as the Sun in Libra trines Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. It might be time to seek out reciprocal arrangements that see you as a valuable asset to any team, especially if you want to make more meaningful adjustments to your work life. You should focus on mutually shared ambitions at work that allow you to feel empowered by taking on such responsibilities. However, make sure that you will be paid fairly to ensure harmony in your work life. There is a lot going on during Mercury's first full day back in your income sector, with his smart head for money giving you a chance to get your head back in the game with perfect timing. This will ensure you are mentally engaged as a friendly aspect between the Sun here and Saturn on the job front peaks but also when a balance between money coming in and money going out is still under the spotlight. Jasmine oil should be on your shopping list this month. Jasmine is spiritually healing and is associated with the moon in herbal lore. Put a few drops in your bath or in your favorite, unscented, body lotion. Often thought to attract love, the scent also induces a deep, relaxing sleep that can cure symptoms of stress. Historically, jasmine was used by midwives to help women relax their bodies during childbirth. A drop or two on your pillow will give you a pleasant night's rest. Starting in the next few days, you may be able to stabilize a fluctuating situation and get some good results in your material life. But today, you will have to content yourself with following your objectives and keeping a low profile. You're not as open as you should be and every person you meet will make you realize how much your behavior needs to evolve and how much you need to be questioning things. You don't like newness as much as you should and prefer being in comfortable and habitual situations rather than attempting to get some newness into your life. In the short term, Mercury's return to your income sector yesterday might keep financial tension high after a full moon two days ago but can also turn this into motivation. Unlike when the Sun and Moon clashed, as Mercury clashes with Jupiter in your income sector today the emotional fog of war is gone and instead you not only have luck on your side but the smart head for money then can turn financial tension into motivation on both sides of the financial fence. While there is still a strong sense of nostalgia in the air, as the moon makes its first visit to an adventurous part of your chart since Pluto's direct turn in your romantic sector over the weekend there is a lot less this time. Planets are still in retrograde motion here, but as the spirit of romance and adventure come together it is with a new sense of anticipation. Our eyes in the sky. There is a purification process unfolding in the skies. Don't let anyone dim your light even as the tougher planetary connections are pulling at you and trying to make you feel self-conscious. Yes, there is a continuation with Uranus and the Libra Sun, which share a minor frustration that seems as though it's tugging at your soul. The collective is now met with another aspect, with the Sun's position in balancing Libra and Saturn in Aquarius harmonizing the energy. 
These aspects are meant to change society, but it isn't going to happen overnight. It will help you gain insight into your life from a very spiritual level. You can't control what's happening on a larger scale. Internally, that's where the greatest change is going to occur. You can support your friends and family through these times and even take to the streets in the name of social justice. Libra is the sign of the law, and Saturn in Aquarius dictates policies. Think of this as a cosmic alliance that requires in-depth diplomacy on all levels. The scales only tip when one side isn't doing its job from a place of truth. What do you see that needs changing? Luckily, the energy encourages you to tell it like it is to anyone who will listen and shout it to anyone who isn't paying attention. Be open to those you trust who have more life experience, because they're serving as your guide through these eye-opening transits, especially when Mars in Gemini squares Neptune in Pisces in the evening. There can be an obsessive-compulsive element to this day as well. Perfectionist tendencies are very possible. Be careful to check your thoughts and make sure that you aren't being too hard on yourself. Aspects are slowing down your ability to earn the kind of money you may have become used to and asking you to become more responsible about how you spend your cash. Establish limits so you can save for retirement or other goals. Your house of creativity, family, and fun are affected. If you're having trouble getting motivated, just think about how what you do now will benefit your family in the future. In the morning, Venus in Libra squares off with Pallas, the goddess asteroid of strategy, in Cancer, creating a disconnect between how we give and receive love. The square stimulates conflict, so we recognize how our romantic conduct is working against us. Indeed, we might have been using Cancerian care and support as a strategy for entrapping lovers. In all likelihood, manipulation techniques were not entered into consciously. We simply assumed that the best way to get others to like us was to make ourselves as accommodating as possible. Yet now, we see that relationships formed using coercive means are not healthy. The whole game may fall apart, forcing us to come clean to partners and work towards achieving union more healthily. The cosmic weather is then quiet until the evening, when the Libra sun trines Saturn in Aquarius, helping us to achieve our goals. Our past labor bears fruit, and we are provided with recognition for reaching a personal milestone. Structures have been put in place which facilitate our success. Therefore, we work less hard and see greater returns. Those with less experience can benefit from our guidance at this time. We might even use this influence to train someone to manage less rigorous duties as we rise into a position of authority and take on more responsibility.